G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going over some top LEGO idea sets to buy in 2022. Let's talk about it. So onto the LEGO website here and I'll filter this by LEGO idea sets. We're just going to have a quick squeeze at all the LEGO idea sets which are currently out. So as we can see we do have the new the motorized lighthouse, the new office that's coming out. I'm not going to go over them, or, like all of them, it's going to take too long but I'll just have a squeeze so you guys can see all the different LEGO idea sets that are currently on the market. So there is some beautiful sets there, next page, and then obviously the Vince Van Gogh thing which is just always out of stock. So the ones I'm going to be mentioning in this video to buy are going to be sets that are retiring by the end of the year. Because obviously you want to be buying those sets that you can't get anymore before they start to go up in value. Now this um, is going to be mainly for investment purposes this video. So there are, out of these sets there are five that are retiring this year. That being the Sesame Street set here. The NASA Apollo Saturn V, the International Space Station, the Central Perk, and Seinfeld. So one, two, three, four, five. Now these five sets will be gone by the end of the year, meaning we can't pick them up anymore. So if you are looking to buy some idea sets and to invest into, into um, some idea sets, these will be the five you should target first because they're going sooner than the other ones. So let's get into it. My investment thoughts on these ones. I have touched about this before in a different video, but now we're getting um, really up to the end of the year into Q4. Um, if you haven't bought any yet, now is the time to start stocking up on these sets if you want to. So my investment thoughts are this. Central Perk, set number 21319, 1,070 pieces, retails here in Australia for 90 bucks. Will I be buying this set? I already do have two. I picked them up last year when um, I thought it was retiring, but then LEGO did extend the date. So I do have two of these, but um, I will not be buying any more of these. does obviously have exclusive minifigs in the set um, because of all the, um, the Friends figs. However, the reason why I'm not going to be buying any more of these is simply because um, by the time it retires, it would have been out for about three years, and this set is going to be hoarded. And um, you won't be definitely, um, if you are picking up, don't pay that $90 retail tag. You can get it at least cheaper at Kmart, and it's usually always discounted for about at least 20% off. Always pay that 20% off mark. But um, this is a set that I will, I've already got two, but I won't be buying any more. And now we're going to talk about the International Space Station. I I haven't got any of the, these ones yet, but I'm planning to pick some up when a gift with purchase comes, simply because I can't get this set anywhere else in Australia or any other retailers. The only place it's in stock at the moment is the Lego store. And I don't want to be paying retail price with getting really nothing in return. Yeah, I'll get VIP points, but I want something else. So as soon as a new gift with purchase comes, that is a decent gift with purchase, I will be um, buying probably... I'm going about 100 bucks a pop after you sell the gift purchase you want to aim for about 20 percent off so i'm going to be aiming to pay after i sell the gift with purchase for around like 80 bucks for this set so i'll probably aim just probably to pick up about, about five of these i'm not going to be buying too many but i just want a decent chunk because it is already selling for a decent amount on the secondary market and if i can pick them up for 80 bucks whether it's on discount somewhere else or as i said with the gift with purchase it only has to get to 160 bucks for me to double my money and i and that's easy going to happen in the next 12 months so I'll probably aim for about five to ten I'll be um, purchasing these set now the Lego Sesame Street this is probably my favorite of the bunch set number 21324 1367 pieces and six exclusive figs retails for 200 bucks I know at the moment here in Australia you can get it for 155 at Toys R Us I do believe you do have to pay shipping though but keep your eye out because I have seen it cheaper before at Target I forget how much it was but uh, between me and my dad, who we do invest in Lego, I think we picked up like 15 plus of these ones at that decent discount. I think it was about like 30 to 35% off. So keep your eye out for Target because they do, um, they have had this set cheaper before than the 155 mark. But definitely don't be paying the $200 retail price. At least go to Toys R Us if you're looking to um, um, to pick it up because, as I said, it's about 155 bucks which is just nearly 25% off. And if you do have to pay postage, it'll probably bring it down to about 20% off, which is, you know, that's a decent price. So that's fine. But um, yes, I've got um, 15 plus of these. I forget the exact number, but if I get any more at a decent price, I definitely will be. This is my pick of the bunch. I love it. Exclusive figs. It's iconic. It's collectible. It's got everything. I do love it. And now we move on to Seinfeld. Um, straight off the bat, I'm not going to be buying this one. I'm in Australia. America may be different because obviously, this is an American.
American sitcom. I don't know how popular it was here in Australia. I try to watch a couple episodes. It doesn't interest me. That doesn't mean, obviously, it um, wasn't an iconic show. It obviously is. But um, because I'm in the Australian market, I'm not going to be selling, um, to be buying any of these sets. It's always in stock. I've never seen it out of stock, which tells me that the demand isn't as high um, compared to some of the other LEGO Ideas sets. But this is the Australian market talking, not the US, so it may be a bit different. But, um, yeah, I'm not touching too much on this one. I'm not going to be buying it. And then the NASA Apollo Saturn V. This is um, easily probably in the top three as well. I believe uh, between us we've got four of these at the moment. Um, it retails for $170. Uh, set number 92176, 1,969 pieces. Will I be buying any more? If I can get it at another decent discount, probably I'll pick up some more. Um, I won't be going too in depth because, um, as, as I said, I'm just trying to um, to widen my range of sets I'm investing in, pretty much because I'm planning to open up a shop in the next 12 months or so. So I am going to want a big um, diversification of like different themes and different sets and have a few of each, but there is going to be a handful of sets which I am going to be going deep on, but this is just not one of them, but the Sesame Street is a little bit of a different story but yes I, ha I already have four of these sets and I will be planning to pick up a few more if I can get them at a decent discount so overall my thoughts were I've already got two of the central perks and I won't be buying any more International Space Station I don't have any at the moment but I want to buy at least anywhere between five and ten of these um, only pretty much from the Lego store that's where I can get them from but with the gift with purchase Sesame Street we've got about 15 plus and I will be um, trying to get more at a decent discount as well Seinfeld I'm not buying any and the Apollo Saturn 5 I've got four and I will look to pick up a couple more again if I can get it at a decent discount but leave your thoughts down below will you be buying any of these retiring Lego idea sets and will you not and tell me why but anyway guys smash that like button for me subscribe to the channel and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one bye